Today, more than ever, the quarterback position is by far the most important role on a football team. Obviously, football is inherently very much a team game. When you need 11 players all on the same page, no one player can do it all by himself. But that being said, there are still a few guys in today's game, the elite of the elite, who are so immensely talented that as long as they're on the field, their team always has a chance to win. You know the type, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, three former MVPs who can simply dominate a game both at their superior skill sets and their next level understanding of the X's and O's. But if you ask me, there are two guys right now that have taken their abilities to a completely different stratosphere, even compared to the rest of the elite quarterbacks. And those two guys are the reigning Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, and none other than Mr. Unlimited himself, Russell Wilson. Of course, Mahomes has won a Super Bowl title more recently, but there is a reason to believe that regardless of what your recency bias might be telling you, that Russell Wilson might be the best quarterback in the NFL, not Patrick Mahomes. I mean, if you don't believe me, check out what Bill Belichick said earlier this season ahead of New England's matchup with Wilson and the Seahawks. Honestly, I think he's in a way underrated by the media or fans, I don't know. But I don't really see anybody better than this player. He can do everything. He's got obviously great leadership, playmaking skills, he plays very well in the most critical situations in the game. His decision making, running, passing, I don't think there's a better deep ball passer in the league. In terms of decision making and accuracy, he attacks literally every inch of the field. Endorse Endorsements don't exactly come any stronger than that, do they? But even if the endorsement is coming from a man who is widely regarded as the greatest coach of all time, it's still just one man's opinion. So let's take a deeper look. One interesting place to start is that both players had very similar starts to their careers, at least in terms of experiencing some fantastic team success. They both went 4-1 in the playoffs and took home a Lombardi trophy in their first two seasons in the league, largely due to the fact that they outplayed the value of their contracts 10 times over. When it comes to the actual numbers, Mahomes edged out Wilson in cumulative passing numbers, throwing for an insane 9,128 yards and 76 touchdowns, while Russ only netted 6,457 yards and 52 touchdowns in his first two years. And while it is a bit of a stretch to try and argue Wilson's comparative merits as a passer during his first two seasons, as it did take him a little bit longer than Mahomes to truly develop as a passer, he does still deserve some leniency, as he attempted on average 10.5 less passes per game. Not to mention the fact that he came into the league playing for a very established team that already had an identity for being a smash mouth running team behind the epic performances of one Marshawn Lynch. And besides, when you have a defense that was as feared as Seattle's Legion of Boom was, it's pretty rare to see the coaching staff start forcing its young quarterback to take unnecessary risks. But even so, Wilson's start just can't be compared to Mahomes, which many consider to be the single best start to an NFL career of all time. But we're not just comparing the sum of their careers, or the starts to their respective careers, but rather their ability to play quarterback here and now. And if you look at their 2020 numbers, they tell an interesting story. This year, Wilson actually outperformed Mahomes, even as a passer. Wilson is thrown for more yards, for more touchdowns, he has a superior completion percentage, and he has a better quarterback rating. Not to mention the fact that Wilson's start actually has historical significance. His 14 touchdown passes are the the most in NFL history in a three-game stretch to open a season. I know the Chiefs are still the defending Super Bowl champs, so I am hesitant to do it until Seattle can get back to the big game, but if you ask me, Russell Wilson has a very strong case to be the early frontrunner for NFL MVP, and he deserves to be mentioned as the best quarterback in the NFL. Only time will tell. But don't sleep on Wilson and the Seahawks, because this very well may be the year we see them return to glory. Who do you think is the best quarterback in the NFL right now? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.